Okay, so once you have your steps done, they should look like this. And if you cut the bull nose out, you should have that little lip on each one of the steps, which you can sand to be rounded. It starts out being square, but then you can just round it with the sander. Then you want to cut this piece here, which is the left side of the steps, so that you can hide the fact that there is the individual pieces. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to cut it to fit the side of your building, and then you want to tack it gonna, in there. We're going to put some glue on behind it. I'm, right now, I'm just going to start the nail. Just put a little glue behind it. All right, so now keep the edge even at the front. Make sure it's even and square at the front and the back. All right, so that should be there like that. All right, so after you've done that, you want to take your steps, you want to pre-drill a hole at the top and the bottom. That is either for your nail or for your screw, whichever you decide to do. And then you want to put a little bit of glue along the side of here, and we're going to attach it right there. Use too large a nail because you don't want to crack it. You wouldn't leave your finger there. Okay, so once you have that there, it should look like this. Now, of course, if you want to keep this a flat, straight wall here, you can, but you don't have to. For the right side of the steps, we cut one board that's going to go straight up. The purpose of this is because we're going to make this look like the exterior of the building. Again, you want to apply some glue along the right side of your step, and then you're going to attach it there. And you can use some um, finishing nails to hold it if you like, or you can clamp it. All right, so once you have your glue attached, you're going to make sure the back of this is even with the back. And then the front should overlap just a tiny bit, enough to cover that bull nose of your step. Lightly tack it with your finishing nail. Okay, so the next step is to go ahead and put the back piece here for the back wall. Made out of an eighth of an inch. No. That's one eighth inch. So what my dad's doing is he's marking one eighth inch all the way down so we can keep it straight and aligned. Mm -hmm. And he's glue applying on. glue. If my daughter would have kept it clean. <laughs> I'm famous for gunking up the glue. <laughs> okay, so we applied it here, and then we applied it to the side of the wood that's going to attach to the side wall here. And you can put a piece of tape to hold it. Just using a piece of masking tape on the corner to help hold it until it dries. Okay, so now that's glued right there. We're going to let it dry. And while it's drying, we're going to go ahead and work on the rest of the stuff. And we'll be right back. <laughs> 